So I don't think there's ever a house too ugly for us to buy, but I was challenged this last time. So we did a, a, a transaction here where the brother had inherited the property because his brother had died. But his brother had all kinds of health problems and maybe some mental issues too, I'm not sure. But uh, we went to the house and it was run down. I didn't think it was livable. It was covered in you know spiders and mice. And, and to be honest, it had poop everywhere. There was poop on the floors. There was poop on the walls. There was, you know, pee and poo pretty much covering every surface of this house. And he was really worried about trying to show it because they didn't want to have to go in and pay to clean it because they didn't have any money and they were you know, facing their own financial difficulties and he was worried about liability uh, of having other people go into the house you know, if they got sick or anything else. So anyway, we were able to come up with a cash offer that made him very happy that, um, that in fact we ended up paying uh, about $20,000 more than he'd asked for initially and, uh, and it was a, a small property it was in Utah County. Um, he'd asked 97. I think we ended up paying uh, about 112 or 115 thousand dollars for it when it was all said and done, because that was the right thing to do to take care of their needs. And so it's not always about how cheap we can get it. It's about doing the right thing and, and making it work out. And so that was uh, one case where they were very happy to sell us the property, and we were happy to buy it. And we have people who go in and clean that kind of stuff up and it'll be a nice home for somebody uh, as soon as we get it taken care of. So if you've got a house that you think is really ugly, really dirty, even if it's got poop all over the walls and floor, we'll take it. We'll be happy to, to get it, happy to uh, take it off your hands and pay you a fair price for it. Give us a call.